What's good, Brian Tong here, and welcome back to Googleicious. For all the Google you could think of, Samsung officially announced that their next Unpacked event will be on August the 23rd, and you can bet your bottom dollar we'll see the unveiling of the Note 8 there. Now, spec-wise, it's expected to be pretty similar to the Galaxy S8 Plus, but with more RAM, dual cameras, and an S Pen. Now, a Twitter post by Win Futures Roland Quant claims the new Note will come in black, the Galaxy S8's Orchid Gray, and a new Deep Blue at the very least. The teaser invitation even features a deep blue looking S Pen, which could be the new color we'll see. Now, Samsung also finally rolled out Bixby for US owners of the S8 and S8 Plus. And Hi, no surprise, it's getting a lukewarm response. Like, it had so much potential, and you know, it could still evolve down the road even more. But if you want more Bixby right now, ET News reports Samsung is working on Bixby powered Bluetooth earbuds. And yes, it will be their version of the AirPods. Now, Samsung does have experience with wireless earbuds from their Gear Icon X line. The report claims the AirPods competitor will connect over Bluetooth. You can listen to music and you will also be able to prompt Bixby for voice commands. Plus, its noise blocking technology will be able to understand you in a loud environment. Now, Samsung will be reportedly testing them sometime this month, and ET News says they'll be announced with the Galaxy Note 8. Now, they could be bundled for a limited time with the Note 8, but we'll find out on August the 23rd. All right, video and images of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S8 Active have leaked out. This line started back with the S4, and this new Active adds a significantly more durable body, military standard certification, and a larger battery. The leak allegedly comes from a friend of a Samsung employee in San Francisco with very professional finger-drawn watermarks. You guys should do that more often. Now, the image also confirms a 4,000 milliamp hour battery that's larger than the S8 or S8 Plus, but it won't feature the gorgeous curved infinity display of those phones. Instead, it'll just be flat. Now, no pricing information or release date has been released yet. Okay, Google has released the last Android O developer preview with near final testing images for recent Pixel and Nexus devices. It allows developers to conduct their final testing for apps. Now, for those of you who want to do this, you can get access to the factory images right here down below. You can check out this link. Again, it's a developer preview, and not all your apps may work with it, but you have the option to check it out. There's also a fun Easter egg in the preview that features a floating octopus that's kind of black and white like an Oreo. So what's it gonna be, Android? Octopus or Oreo? And another connection, Android O is 8.0, and the number eight is the number of legs an octopus has. I bet you didn't know that. It also replaces that cute nougat Neko game. If you don't know how to get to that, there's a tool called YouTube someone told me about that might be able to help you, so go and check it out. And in a quick story, Google is also working on a new lossy image format for the web. They're calling PIC. That's PIC with a K, because of course it is. That's all we know right now, and it was revealed on Google's GitHub profile as a collection of newly uploaded files. PIC is right now not an official Google product, but it's being developed by them at the moment. And I'd like to thank Martin Mander for this moment of retro. The man turned a 1986 Radio Shack intercom into a Google Home. What time does Curry's close today? Curry's PC World at Sweet Briar Retail Park, Sweet Briar Road, closes at 6 p.m. This is amazing! And Mander did it with an intercom body, a Raspberry Pi, and Google's artificial intelligence yourself kit that came with issue 57 of the Maggie Pie magazine. Check it out. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can email me at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for some more of that Googleicious. Delicious.